Hello and welcome back to the Chumps and News Show. I'm Tom Cristiano. Well, I'm here for another uh, show about the Chumps and <laughs> Art Society at the Chumpsford Library with the two co-presidents of the Chumpsford Art Society, Barbara Ladinsky Hello, on my far right and Elaine Seidel in the middle here. So uh, how, how many pieces do we have on the show this year and how many artists? Elaine, do you want to mention that? Sure, we, we had 30 of our member artists enter this year with 54 beautiful pieces of art. 54, and we'll go over every piece on this show. And uh, how many members do we have now in the Art Society? 2022 has been great. We have 13 new members and 76 overall. 76, fantastic. <laughs> And the Art Society is what, about over 50 years 50 old now? Years old. 1970 was the start of the Art Society wow. at Chelmsford. So yes, it's very... That's it fantastic. Going. And thank both of you for helping me keep it going by being co-presidents. I know it's been a few years now oh, yes. that you've been the co-presidents, right? Do you yeah. know exactly? But anyway, it's, a, it's at least three, oh, yeah, exactly. three or four years or something. Yeah. So we appreciate it because without people like you stepping up for these hard jobs that take a lot of time, we wouldn't have the Trumps and Art Society, so we appreciate it very much. We being, I'm a member, I've been a member over 40 yeah. years, uh, maybe 42 years, I think it is. Well, so Tom, I know I don't look 42 years old, <laughs> but I am. <laughs> but Tom, we stand on the shoulders of all of the artists that ran the society before us, and this group is so amazing. We had so many volunteers come and help set up this show yeah. that it took just about an hour. One hour, fantastic. And it was fun. We yes. love having so many people do just a little bit because that makes it fun. Yeah. Yes, oh, wonderful. And, and so volunteers welcome. Yes, very yes. much so. <laughs> and we had the same thing when we had the 4th of July show. We pulled off the 1st of July show after not having it for a number of years. Yes. We put out the call for volunteers and we had tons of help. And we had t help from the town. Yeah. Uh, Paul Cohen gave us help for bringing up from the DPW staff to help us bring up all the heavy stuff. And it was wonderful that we could put this on for the town of Chelmsford. And that is a fantastic show. Every 4th of July, yes. we have that wonderful show at the Chelmsford Center for the Arts. And I'm looking forward to it again this year. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to looking at these 54 art pieces that we have in the show. So uh, shall we get started? Yes, let's get started. Great. Barbara and Elaine and a little bit of myself, I'll be talking from behind the camera. We're going to look at each piece okay. pretty quickly Let's because start. it's a 30 yeah, minute show. Right. Great. Thank you. So, <laughs> shall we start you. over here okay, on the yes. left? Okay, good. Okay. Oh. Uh, the top one is Ivan Orlansky, and that is a watercolor from. They live near the Cranberry Bogs oh. in uh, Chelmsford. And so, he does a lot of painting from the Cranberry Bogs. It's a very nice study of the Cranberry Bogs in oh. Chelmsford. And this next one is uh, Kathy Cryan Hicks, uh, who is an acrylic painter, and she also has the one of the trees on the other side. Okay, yeah. And, and if nobody has been, the Lowell Cemetery is beautiful. It is a garden cemetery in the fashion of the Green Necklace outside Boston. Oh. Um, so take a look in the fall. It, it's a beautiful example of how nice it is. Wonderful. And then over here in the center, do you want to? Okay, so yeah. we we actually have to keep track. We have a Mary Rose O'Connell, a Mary E. O'Connell, and a Deborah O'Connell. Yeah. And we're so happy Mary E. O'Connell um, has come back after a number of years, and this is her hovering, and it's an acrylic, and above that is your friend and ours, yeah. Linda Crossland, her oil and acrylic, but it's a poor oil yeah. and acrylic. Yeah. Very fun. And if you can catch it, it's got that metallic sheen. Yes, very nice. Very nice. So, and okay, our next picture is by Sabrafa, and he is on uh, the council for the Chelmsford Cultural Council. Oh, yeah. He is also a great photographer, uh, and this is one of his pieces. And then the other one that we have is, well, this is the other one from uh, Kathy Cryan Hex, that's an acrylic. Kathy, who used to work at the library, as you know, for many years. Hi, Kathy, <laughs> when you see the show. So now we'll head over here to these beautiful pieces. This is our newest member. Oh. And her name is Miriam Gadiri Bessemene. I hope I got that right. But 
these are watercolors. Yeah. And I get it. Other artists are Absolutely. just truly amazed that these are watercolors. It's yes, so like me, because cool. it looks like a photograph. It's amazing that it's she that was able to strong. paint so detailed yeah. with watercolors. Yeah. It is truly amazing. And then I'll zoom in on the one on top. Right, the magnolia. It's beautiful. Magnolia flowers, right? right. Beautiful. You will be able to see shortly an artist page for her on the website. Right. So oh. the, the Chelmsford Art Society has a website maintained and created by Barbara. Yeah. And not, a number of our member artists have many examples of their work on these pages, so you can find out a bit more about them. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you. So shall we head over to this side? And we're in the McCarthy room at the Chelmsford Library just to remind everyone. And this show will be up until January 27th. Yes. So Barbara, who, okay. what are these two on the left? These two on the left are watercolors, and they're done by Julie Mon Juliet Montague. Julie. Oh, Juliet Montague. And Julie is on the board for the Chelmsford Art Society. Oh, wonderful. She Thank you. She has a uh, studio over at Western Avenue. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Very nice. Thank you, Julie. Oh, I know who this is, my friend Donna Berger, maybe? Yeah, Donna Berger, so these two, this one and the other one are Donna Burgers. And, and that's Donna Berger. For her. She does a lot of great photo uh, photograph uh, rendering from looking at photos and having people come and do portraits from that for family portraits and all. She does a really good job. And for pets. And for pets. Yes, yes. yes. beautiful. She pets with Santa. She does pet portraits that are stunning. Yes, yes. yes. And she has a studio over at the Brush Gallery. At the Brush, yes. And Donna does amazing portraits on commission, too, if anybody's yes, looking. That's right. So here we are on the other side of the McCarthy Room. And this is a photo by <coughs> Subrata? That's Subrata's. Subrata's photo. Yeah. The light is glaring on a little bit. This is a little better, but uh, yeah, very nice photo by Subrata. And he's on the Cultural Council, did you say? Yes, he is. He nice. Chelsea Cultural yes. Council. And this nice painting is by? Donna Gordon, another new member brought in by um, two friends. So yes, oh. ask your friends to join. Um, I love the 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 comedy of this and I keep thinking well maybe we should send it to the aquarium or something they might get a kick out of yeah. it yeah <laughs> and, and who's is this I oh this is a this. I think one of the most famous artists in Chelmsford right <laughs> <laughs> no this is by yours truly TC Cristiano also known as Tom Cristiano it's a quick pastel that I did but I posted it on Facebook and it got a tremendous response from my friends Oh, and I included it in my Christmas cards this year. Okay. I was just going to ask. And my brother was telling me yesterday how much he liked it. So anyway, it's just a quick <laughs> pastel, but they're easy for me to do, so I do them. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I want to oh. highlight this partially okay. because my husband has two koi ponds at home. He so does. So I, huh? I just love koi pictures, yeah. and this is uh, Jillian. Let me say her name wrong. Jillian or Linsky is it or, or something? Linsky, okay. and it is just an amazing unique piece for her uh, oh. she really is expanding what she does and oh. changing what she does and that's a wonderful thing to see in our artists yes. how they just try different things and explore and is that acrylic it's acrylic oh. she also has a studio at Western Avenue oh. on the third floor and right now she and her husband have a show in Westford at the Parish Art Center. Oh, oh, wonderful. So For the month of December. Month of the month of December. So go see the, she's a brought, large breadth of uh, work at the at the Parish Center right now. Wonderful. And this one below it? This is Esther Donlin. And she is a, a oh, Esther. Oh, yeah. watercolorist. Yeah, she's very beautiful, very detailed, very and detailed. does a she's great job. Very great. accomplished, very, yes. very well known. And then these two uh, next to it? Okay, these are two paintings that are done by Sue Littman. Uh, oh. Sue has, both of these paintings happen to be from the Thanksgiving Forest oh. in Chelmsford. So if you take advantage of uh, when Phil Stanway does the walk before Thanksgiving yeah. through the Thanksgiving Forest, we have some really great open spaces in town. Yes. And they're great places to do artwork because we have everything from the cranberry box to the Thanksgiving forest to other places. And so Sue had done two portraits 
uh, different time frames at Thanksgiving Forest. And it looks like they're oils, huh? They're oil oils. paintings. Oil painting. Well, nice, very and, nice. And if you don't know where places are, I found on Facebook there are many different towns um, yeah. that do walks, that know yeah. there's Bill Rico walks, there's Chelmsford walks, there's yes. Old walks. Yeah. So yeah. you can find out where things are if you, if you don't know. Wonderful. And this is a very nice uh, abstract. I met this artist when I dropped off my paintings. Good. Yes, and she's very yes, nice. Deborah What's her name? Our other O'Connell. Another <laughs> O'Connell. Yeah. Deborah, is it? Deborah. Deborah. Yeah. Um, she has a real, again, the wide range. This is a tremendous abstract. And yeah. one reason we put it, because I think it pulls people in. Yeah. Because it's such color and movement and everything. Um, yes. Yes. Autumn's Fire. Autos, uh, Autumn's. Autumn's, Autumn's Fire. Fire. Nice. Yes. Good title. And these two? Are, uh, this uh, one is mine. Yeah. Oh, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> Let me zoom in on that. And you want to tell us a little about it, Barbara? Uh, this is uh, Stream and Fall. It's from uh, up in New Hampshire, off the Kangamangas Highway. Oh. Uh, I had done a, ske a sketch a while ago, and then I finally went ahead and looked at the photos and finished it all. Recently, it got done like a week ago. Wow! <laughs> and it's acrylic. It looks like it's an oil. Oil. Oh. It's an oil. I don't know why it's acrylic. It's, oh, it says it's acrylic. It's oil. And I could see that from behind the camera. It's oil. <laughs> oh, I, I have to update some of the. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. And the and one on top. Uh, this pumpkin one, which is Diane Harvey. Uh, oh. Diane just finished that recently, and that's also an oil. Oh. She's, she's using water-based oils. Oh, I see water-based oils. So so nice. Yeah. Very nice. And look at this one. This is amazing. Uh, that This artist did another animal last year, too. She's yeah. just an amazing artist. And, and she, it's stunning. Yeah, Mary yeah. is stunning. Her, her artwork is and fantastic. And again, artists don't always think that they're that great. We have to say, Mary Ann, this is stunning. Oh, she, yes, this is. Is stunning. she is fantastic. And just look at the eyes. You feel like you can... You've got the soul of the animal in the eye. That is amazing. And in fact, just about all of our artwork is for sale, right? Right, yes. The reason I want to mention is because, if I remember last year, she had a very reasonable price for this amazing animal painting last year. So if somebody likes this, yes. they might want to come to the library and look at that and the prices of other art and maybe pick something up too as a gift or whatever. Yeah, the, the price uh, will not be on the label. The, gift, right. the library is not a gallery, but there will be a price list in the room. Yes, the price list and will be. on our website. We should on the, have our price list up on our website. At yes. the yes. Art Society dot yes. com. Exactly. And, and once I get all the JPEGs, I will put an online show with everybody's oh, piece right. and what the prices are. Wonderful. And it's also at the front desk probably, right? If somebody wants a price list, yeah. usually we leave some at the front desk. But anyway, you'll be surprised at how reasonable that original painting is, which took her a very long time, I'm sure. Right. And that's Barbara Renison's daughter. If anybody at home is wondering, you all know Barbara Renison. So uh, she's amazing. So, and we have two more beautiful pieces here. Oh, is this yours, Barbara? This is mine. Oh, wow. Is, uh, on the way to Mount Mananoc, uh, my husband and I used to climb at Mount Mananoc. Uh, Very often. nice. So that was just a photo of a uh, uh, stop along the way up, up to the, the, the hike. Very and nice. The top one is by Mary E. O'Connell. Oh, yeah. And that is uh, retired, getting your boat ready, coming oh. out of this for the season. Very nice. Very nice. This is um, Esther Donlan. Oh, Esther, yep. I'm not sure if I want to say pick your poison because XO is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is by Norma von Fricken and oh, hi, Norma. Estelle. And if you can see, it is it is amazing. It looks like one of those old paintings yes. you see that you see at the Museum of Fine Arts. The detail in pastel is astounding. And that it must be under glass, right? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, good, but must be non-reflective glass because yes. it was yes. good. That's good. Yes. Oh, nice. This, this one here is uh, by Donna Har Diane Harvey, and again, it's an oil, um, water-based oil, and it's one of the churches decorated for Christmas. Very nice. And I don't know if everyone is familiar with this, but the museum, the Merrimack Repertory Theater, has uh, artists at. Western Ave Studios, they create art to reflect the current 
theater production. So this yeah. was for a past theater production called American Folk Centers, and it's by Ivan Orlinsky. I can, that would be great, thank you. Oh. oh, and I know this lady, she's amazing. I love this, these are jewel box pictures of flowers. Just the detail she achieves is astounding. Yes. David Klingerman Massau is an amazing, accomplished artist. Yes. Has won a number of awards. Yes, very nice, Janet. And then, oh, and look at this! Thomas, one of Tom's pastel owls. <laughs> yep, and I'll explain a little bit. I sometimes I like to paint expressionistically. Uh -huh. uh, it's like post-impressionism or whatever with lines. Like Van Gogh used to use all these different lines. So I like to have my own style. I like to paint owls a lot, as you may know. Uh -huh. And uh, I've sold a number of them. So hopefully I'll sell this one too at the show. <laughs> <laughs> and this is by uh, Kuchan. A, a photo, right? A yeah. Photo. Yeah. He, he can capture amazing photos, and he told me a lot of them are right out of his kitchen window. Ah. Oh. So this one is by Deborah O'Connell. Uh, so we have both of the O'Connell pieces on the same wall, uh, and. You go from her contemporary piece to a very realistic sort of impressionistic piece. Here of some marshes, and that one's done in pastel. And then the other one up here is by Norma von Fricken. And Norma is done of poppy stud, they have poppies uh, done in oil. Nice. I'm sorry, not poppies, peonies. <laughs> I have the wrong flower there. Oh, oh, great, great. So, yep, we've hit my art. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and what I like, and I was telling stories about this, because every artist has this, this story where when you submit, their outfit shows are juried, which means you get voted in, and you may or may not get your piece accepted. Yeah. Very often, the piece you love doesn't get in. The one you don't think is going to get in gets in. Well, I love this one. Okay. I didn't think it would get in. It got into Rockport. And it oh, won an award at Rockport. <laughs> That's right. It, it got an honorable mention. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this, um, I just loved focusing it on fire. Yeah. But this is in that koi garden I mentioned earlier. Oh, so that's yeah. Goyen, Goddess of Mercy. Oh. So it, it, I just, and photography, t as you know, Tom, takes yeah. a long time. It took yeah. a long time to get that to look like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, Barbara and I were talking about the cost of paint versus the cost of paper. Yeah. Uh, or even my ink. My yeah. ink, I can't get at Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, that also is Kuchan de yeah. Sao. And um, probably butchering the pronunciation of that. But again, his beautiful um, bluebird. And this is, again, new member Donna Gordon. Oh, Donna Gordon, a, yeah. A really fun half abstract. It looks like a, a dream or that you're dreaming in dreamscape or something. Yeah. Nice. So we have a couple of abstracts here. Right. We have abstracts, and these are Orthas. Uh, and Ortha always surprises us with the abstract design that she does. And they're always so unique in unique colors each time. And what's her last name? Or? Splingard. 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 I see, yeah. And I think she's a very very known, her style is known in this area because she's oh. just been a strong abstract presence I see, for great. many years. We have a few more out in the hallway. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. We, now we go in the hallway. All the pictures that you see in here are for sale. Well, most of them. And we have, most about, them. we have about 10 minutes left in our video. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now this could be a problem with Claire. Is there a glare here? No, it's okay, yeah. Do so you want to start with the one on the left? Okay, this, this is both by the same artist. Yeah. These are Jim Ritchie, and one is his painting, and this is a painting of his wife. Yeah, that he painted of his wife. Right. I, yes. And a lot of people at home may know Jim because he's a guy who was, he had Chester the motor dog. He used to, he rode ah. about like 60,000 miles on a motorcycle with his dog on the motorcycle with him. Unfortunately, Chester passed away very recently. So Jim is devastated, but um, we talked about it when we dropped off our paintings. So um, he's a great artist. He was a professional 
in the art field teaching it for many years. Yeah. And he came back to painting um, in oil after 30 years. Yes. I, I After 30 years, oh, I wish he could, t but he was teaching too, I think. And yes, he was. He was involved in the arts. Yes, he was. But he, quite an interesting life to go on a motorcycle all those miles with his dog. <laughs> and who, who are these by? This is Bob Stegmeier. Oh, I know Bob. Yes. Hi, Bob. He's a, he's a well-known uh, professional photographer in the area. Uh, yeah. And these are two beautiful nature studies out in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico, nice. He found some water out there, that's good. <laughs> I don't know, you can print on metal. Yes, nice, came out good. And now we're going to, by the front entrance of the library. And, uh, <laughs> so we'll start on the right here. Oh, sure. Um, many people probably know uh, Trina Teal, or Kathy yes. Teal. Kathy Teal. Um, so these are two wonderful studies. Uh, she often does sailboats, but I love to see these um, pictures of houses because she just really makes you feel like you can walk into the picture. Oh, I believe yeah. that one is in Chelmsford. That's the Byam Oh, Homestead. that's the Bear Byam Homestead. Yeah, that's the homestead. Up to, on top there, see that, the homestead? Right. Hi, Trina. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get a close-up of this looks like the, maybe the other side of the homestead. I think so. I think they both oh. there. On the right side, on this yeah. lower one. Okay. Great, great. Very nice, Trina. And this is my friend Linda Crossland. This is the Crossland. Mountain Pass that she's done another going pour. A pouring painting, which is a new thing, but she's one of the few artists who've done pouring with their artwork here today. Right. Yeah, she, she chooses the best colors, too, yes. and does it. A lot of glues that she works with. Yes, very nice. Um, I'm recreating the label for this one, but this is um, our member Stan Sundstrom. Uh, do you hear what I hear? I just love that <laughs> for some of the lovely deer that visit us in the winter. Yes, nice, nice. And this is by Mary Ann Peterson, and one of these is the acrylic, and the other one is a mixed media. Uh, both of, these, both of these pictures are from her. And what's her name again? Mary Ann Peterson. Mary Ann Peterson. She's a member as she's well. A new member. She's a, a new, new member. member. I see. New member. So we just, this is the first time she's shown with the Jumpster Arts Society. I see. Nice. Yes, nice. new members, I get very excited when yes. they enter shows for the first time because it is such a big deal to, to put your own creation yeah. out into public view and I just want them to know how much we appreciate that. Yes. And then the last one over here is by Lee Fortier and both of these pictures are by Lee. Lee is a well-known photographer so the dahlias are spectacular. The stallion picture is spectacular and that's a photograph and this one is an acrylic. Uh, yes, he now is doing both photography and acrylic and the detail he manages to get on yes. this makes it look like a picture, yes. a photo, like, I'm sorry. We were talking about using a, uh, a brush that was so fine, like very, very fine. Oh, he, he painted that, yeah, huh? He painted this one. Yeah. But the top one is a photo. a photo. Yeah, so Lee's getting into more painting now right, in yes. addition to the photography. Yes. Which is great. Good job, Lee. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, show this year. Yeah. So this year, uh, we have something coming up in September, right? A demonstration coming up? January? January. In January. <laughs> Not September, January. We have I've lost months, Tom. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't rewind on me. <laughs> so in January, we have a speaker here at the library. Uh, Jim Higgins is going to be doing a presentation on creating a movie on a, a budget, a very small budget. He's going to be doing an indie, indie movie, a presentation for us. And then we also have uh, speakers in February, March, April, May, uh, and all the way to May. So in, each month, look at the calendar on the Jumps for Art Society page, and we'll be highlighting who we're going to be having that month for a uh, demonstration. And all of our demonstrations are going to be done where we're going to have a live audience, but if you can't feel uncomfortable coming in or it's late at night and you don't want to drive, uh, they will all be uh, streamed too. And the presentation here at the library will be streamed too. 
And it's going to be in the afternoon, you said, the right? One at the and library is going to be in the afternoon. It, so. Did you say the date? That, is it the 21st? 21st. Yeah. And maybe we'll have the reception then, too, for this art show? Yeah, we, we are maybe? working on a chance for people to meet and greet the artists. Oh. So this is a holiday show and sale. Yeah. But we also know that it's going to be a great chance for people to see the artists, get to know who they are, as well as enjoy their art. So we will announce that on our website. Wonderful. And in local news media. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so again, we have about 54 something pieces in this art right. show. Yes. And uh, many, we're all members of the Chelmsford Art Society, right? Who Correct. are in this, this there should be this is a, a member show. show. And that's a benefit of membership, is free entry into, into this show. Yes, wonderful. And um, we did this video last year, too, of the show we had last year. Right. So if anyone would like to see that, they could go to the, my YouTube channel, Tom Cristiano, and just scroll down to the Chelmsford News Shows until a year ago, you'll see Elaine and Barbara and myself <laughs> doing the same thing. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. It's well, Day. We're thank here again. You. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you, Tom. Thank you for thank doing you. Oh, oh, my pleasure. And I thought, since we have a minute, I'm going to take a, we'll do a video of the library to show the people who haven't been at the Chelmsford Library what it looks like. So this is like one of the main rooms in the Chelmsford Library. And look, at there's a beautiful stained glass piece up here in front of this reading room. Could you see that? <laughs> With a lot of Chelmsford things on it, uh, on the stained glass. <laughs> and here's a couple of our workers there at the library. The librarians. <laughs> and downstairs at the library is the administration room and nonfiction and young adult books are all downstairs. You could see that with the sign here. And over on the right on the first floor, the main floor, we have the children's room of the library. And I'll just take a quick walk over here. Here's the outside of the children's room. And you can see the beautiful mural here on the, a bunch of murals on the walls. It's a beautiful children's room. Huh? And look at these beautiful, like, tile work. I'm here. I wonder who did these pieces. Oh, it's over here. There's a sign over here in the children's room who did these pieces. They're very nice. And there's more, more murals. So thanks again for watching our video of the Chelmsford Art Society's Members Art Show at the Chelmsford Library. It's taking place now in December 2022 until January 27th, 2023. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Cristiano. Ciao.